Hello and welcome to the Dawson School Year 7 Information Presentation. My name is Mr Cooksey, my role here at school is to lead the Year 7s as they start their journey with us at school. The aims of the presentation are as follows. This is just to give you a little insight into life at school. My role, along with Miss Garrett and Miss Cook, is to support the day-to-day -day running of Year 7, ensure behaviour and expectations are high, and to encourage and monitor good attendance. As we go through school, there will be different assessment points where we can monitor and track pupils' progress and act accordingly. We will celebrate success and reward pupils who are getting it right, encourage participation in whole school life, extracurricular activities, and build positive relationships with all stakeholders. As you can see, there are various key dates around assessment. This will be released on Go4Schools. We will, however, be holding a consultation evening on Thursday the 24th of October. This will be by invitation only for pupils we feel that will benefit from a face-to-face -face meeting with key staff. Please watch out for this invitation. We will follow up with a phone call home to confirm your attendance. As we go through school, we will take, be taking the year seven pupils to the theatre in the spring term. Parents' evening will be in May, exams in June, reports and final grades out in July. Attendance. On the 19th of August, the DfE released key information to schools. This is supported measures, but places responsibility on parents working with schools to make sure every child receives a good education. It also states the sanctions in place if parents take pupils out during school time or if absences from school are not valid. The new laws. These laws now mean that each parent can be fined, especially if they are late to school after registration, truanting, taking holidays without permission or if Mrs Sutton is not satisfied for the reason the pupil is missing school. Punctuality. Pupils must be here on time. There are sanctions in place if they arrive late. Please let us know if there is a reason that they are late. We understand that things can happen. If you let us know, we can support your child returning to lessons smoothly. Although attendances have increased slightly, the effects of COVID is still around. There are a variety of reasons for attendance at this stage, but we need to make sure pupil pupils are in school every day. This is the best place for them to learn, socialise, develop relationships with their peers and staff and develop key skills they'll need in life. We are a community that we want to get back to when pupils enjoyed coming to school. As you can see on the, on the, on the presentation in front, the data is currently from year 11 that have left school. The more you are in school, the better grades you will get and the better chance of achieving. This is a five year journey and if we get it right now, as pupils enter year 11, they will have the best chance of achieving the best grades they can for their abilities. This will support them in post 16 education and in the workplace. Building a culture is everything. Building this will make pupils want to come to school and not want to miss out, being with friends, meeting new people, learning new tasks. As a school, we promise to try and support where we can. We understand that this is a school that perhaps not one size fits all and people are different. There are different things that make people attend or make them not want to attend. Working together, we can make sure your child develops core skills building resilience, respect and manners, commuter, communicating and cooperating and developing all the skills they needed for when they leave here. The Year 7 curriculum. This is a five year journey and starts from the moment they enter Year 7. Every subsequent lesson builds on key skills in both knowledge and, and organisation. Year 7 through 11 is vital. Something taught in year seven may not be taught again in year 11. So being here could impact the GCSE grade. As you know, we have a two week timetable. 
pupils, as you can see, will have a variety of activities. They will all, always have an activity each week in the subjects on the screen. We run a two week timetable. Please be aware of this week one, week two, especially around PE and the changes to dates. This is why checking the timetable on Go for Schools is important. Depending on your child's performance in year six, they are likely to go on to achieve the following grades. This means that every child has the potential to, to, to achieve at least a grade four at GCSE level. Building good habits now and attending school is vital. Homework will start from this week. Each subject will set one, one, one homework per fortnight. This will be no more than 30 minutes. Please check Go for Schools for homeworks when they are set. Completion of homework is an expectation for pupils to make better progress. If pupils struggle to complete homework at home, don't have the resources or the facilities or need support, they should attend homework club where staff are happy to help. I think this is a vital utility in year seven to get into good habits if pupils are struggling. Go for schools. This contains all the information of your child's life at school. Pupils should check their timetables, their homework, and are ready and fully equipped. You can also check their behavior and attendance, live grades and data. There is both a website version and a mobile app. The website version is nice and easy on the go. The website version is more detailed where you can access more information. Go for schools should be fully functional for all pupils by the end of this week and they should receive their logins. Parents and carers, you should have received this information from Mrs. Howard this week. If you have any concerns, please contact Mrs. Howard at school where she'll be more than happy to help. On the screen will be a typical screenshot for Go for schools. This will display a child's timetable, their attendance, positive and negative points and any homework they have completed or outstanding. It is important that pupils tick off that they have completed this homework as it will register in school. You may also see when they are not uh, conforming and potentially are saying they have no homework. It is important that we check and work together to ensure that we build a positive culture around homework and getting it completed on time. Once it's completed, it will, it will say recent behaviour event, especially if, if departments reward pupils with positive points for completion. I might remind you that not every department will reward homework with a positive point. Most do. PSHE. PSHE is delivered through form time every week. This will be one lesson. We may also have a collapse day where PSHE is delivered. This will be to cover cop topics under government guidelines that follow our specific PSHE curriculum. This will always be age appropriate. You can see the broad outline of the topics on the screen. PSHE is set out to provide pupils with both the knowledge and skills to manage their day-to-day -day lives, ensuring that, that they stay safe, make the right decisions and they grow and become positive members of the school community as well as the wider community. Life skills. Pupils will receive a timetable lesson once a fortnight. Topics covered are on the screen. The aim of life skills is to build on problem solving, critical thinking, communication, decision making, creative thinking, self-awareness, empathy, as well as supporting mental wellbeing. These skills are interwoven and topics will be covered for all pupils to have a go at. Character education allows pupils to look at themselves and what type of person they want to be in the future, what a good character is. Part of the careers topic, we will look at the NHS careers information, as well as competition and games that we can, we can all adhere to. We might be able to identify the different skills needed, especially in specific job roles in the NHS. Finance pupils look at budgeting, 
language or finance and online safety. First aid, they will look at CPR, life skills, about asthma and different allergies, which may trigger as well as supporting themselves as others. The final topic in preparation for their end of year exams is study skills, how to minimize stress and show off the key skills that they've learned through the academic year. Science. On the screen is a key stage three learning journey for science at the various topics covered. As you can see, these are the things that will be inside a science book. They may also be QR codes with homework to support relevant revision materials that will consolidate learning in lessons. This might not be for every single homework, but maybe you, the use of a mobile phone will support at home. Pupils in year seven will learn how to be safe in the lab. Teachers will lead uh, practical sessions and provide feedback to allow pupils to develop their skills. Pupils normally will start to do their own practicals as they become more confident in the skills required to be safe around the lab. This is normally later on in the year. Marking assessment is on the screen. There may be other resources that you'll be able to utilize and websites revision materials that they can support them during key stage three. If you have any questions, you can contact the relevant staff, Ms. Checklow or Ms. Ward in the science department. English. English has, an, has a, an ambitious curriculum. It's a five-year journey that prepares students for their GCSEs. This is with the knowledge and skills and understanding to be successful at GCSE level. The Year 7 curriculum is broadly split into half terms. This will be where they study English language, which is creative writing and non-fiction. English literature, a novel, a play, a novel. benefits of reading. Reading is every teacher's responsibility and we tend to find that while students read for pleasure at primary school it falls away at secondary school. We urge parents to encourage their children to continue reading for pleasure. The benefits are listed on the screen. The school tries to encourage reading through timetabled reading lessons. They also have 10 minutes at the start of every English lesson where, it, where reading is modelled by an expert reader. On the screen is a visual demonstration of what reading can do for your child. The more the read, the more knowledge and understanding you gain. If you have any information, or what require any information around re uh, reading or the curriculum or the overview for key stage three and four, you can contact the relevant staff on the screen. Maths. On this slide, you can see the year seven overview and their learning journey of the activities that they'll undertake this year. On the screen now is an example of a specific topic across the five years here at Dormston. Algebra is in year 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. In books, homework and feedback of classwork consolidates learning. This also in incorporates new ideas for planning and interventions that might be needed where pupils may be struggling in certain topics. All homework will be completed on MathsWatch. This is normally a surname initial at Dormston and the password is normally surname initial at Dormston. So the same. Please make sure you're aware of this. It is all lowercase. 
you need this to log on to see your child's progress in maths. When it comes to homework, you can see the topic set, the date it was assigned, and on the right hand side, you will see marks and percentage and grade. Maths Watch marks for the, for the class staff and pupils can instantly see where they've gone wrong. There are supportive videos to support everybody in the learning of the topics, especially consolidating learning in lessons. You should be able to see this when they've completed it. The relevant staff are on the screen for you to, to, to contact if need be. Safeguarding. Within Dormston, safeguarding is one of the most important roles that we do. We pride ourselves on maintaining a culture of vigilance and understanding that only when childs are happy and safe are they truly thriving and learning. As you can appreciate from the slides, our safeguarding team are as follows. Mrs. Elliot is our, is our lead DSL, supported by Mr. Amos and Miss Smith, who are deputy safeguarding leads. Safeguarding is a, prevent, is a preventative measure that is, a, is at the centre of everything we do at school. Each year we work tirelessly to ensure every member of our school community feels safe. So just to run through a few things at school that we do. Site security, regular audits that take place that ensure school is safe and secure between the hours of 8.20 and 4 o'clock. External visitors to our school are issued with red or green lanyards depending on the clearance they have. For example, a red lanyard, visitors would be supervised at all times. Staff and pupils are aware of this and are encouraged to challenge if they see a staff member on their own. A programme of safeguarding assemblies and performances are scheduled throughout the year. These provide an essential platform to inform students of the ways to keep themselves safe and how to report concerns or if they have worries. In year seven in particular, we do a lot of work around our core values, respect and responsibility in terms of being a school, a kind place and a free from bullying. Our year 10 executive team have been trained in anti-bullying and therefore support the year sevens during social time and during fall time. This is an ideal opportunity for our year sevens to talk to uh, year tens if they feel unsafe or have to worry about anything. In week two of arriving in school, all year seven pupils, regardless of background, pledge to anti-bullying. This is to make sure that we are kind and respectful to everybody, no matter what sexual orientation or protected characteristic. In the second part of the autumn term, the whole of year seven will watch a performance by Loudmouth Educational Production Team, which is entitled Bully For You. This is to reinforce our expectations in a more practical and realistic manner. As a school, we have zero tolerance policy on all forms of discrimination, which means we will never turn a blind eye or pass on behaviours as banter. All cases will be dealt with on a case by case dealt with basis and will be measured and monitored accordingly. In terms of social media, this is where we really, really, really need your help. In school, we have smooth wall filtering. This is to monitor all our systems and track what is going on on the internet. This will flag up any concerns that pupils are searching as we get to know them. Outside of school. Outside of school is a little bit more difficult. We therefore ask you as parents and carers to carefully monitor your child's phone. I've already sent out information around this as we don't want unkind messages and contact taking place out of school where it is brought into school. Remember, most social media apps have a guidance of 13 years of age. Our pupils are 11 and are therefore expected to behave and mature. This is where we need your help and guidance. The final part of the presentation is not to scare you, but is to inform you that you can, um, or the children have pitfalls around social media. This is to invite discussion. Please watch the, the video with your child to discuss, because you wouldn't leave you, let your child go out at night 
or leave them alone in a dark place. Try not to let your child be in their bedroom on their, on their own for long periods of time. Make sure you are checking in and are aware of the social media groups they are on. As I said, the presentation that you're about to watch is not to scare you. The final part is the information that just to reinforce the people that you can contact at school. Myself, Mrs. Garrett, Mrs. Beer and the safeguarding team. Thank you for listening for the presentation. The short clip will now take place. Please, please invite your child to watch this with you and invite conversation about being safe on social media or around places and especially at home. Thank you.